this is just an appeal for our channel. Please support us because um, this channel is for charity. environment. What do we need to learn about environment? I still don't quite get it. What about the desert? So we can have hot deserts and cold deserts in Kerala. So we can have hot deserts and cold deserts. Or ten large deserts. And why? And whenever it's night time, everything is really cold and windy. But and when it's morning, everything is really hot. Why can't it be the same? Who can live in such extreme temperatures? So, what is the danger which deserts are facing because of global warming? Ocean. Atlantic, Indian, Southern. So, what danger are oceans facing? This is whales food. Because there is no krill, the whales die. And this is how it's interlinked. Uh, slowly, all the species are going to die. Hmm. So, what will we learn about today? What about tropical forests and the poles? Are you ready? Meow! I'm ready! So now after deserts and oceans, which environment are you going to talk about, Prisha? Tropical rainforest. Okay, so what is a tropical rainforest? A tropical rainforest, it's wet and soft. Yes, correct. So, we, tropical rainforests are those which are found around the equator. They are wet, humid and warm. Tropical rainforests are home to more than half of the Earth's animals and plant species. And main forests are found around the equator as we said. So, I have one small fun fact. So, chocolate, mango and banana trees were actually first found inside a tropical rainforest. And then because we started liking them, we started cultivating them outside as well. So it is full of animals, insects and birds that are colourful and strange. Can you remember any strange one? Which one? The big butterfly. Yes, the world's largest butterfly. But why is it strange? Because it is strange. It's not a regular thing. You don't find the world's largest butterflies flying around your house, do you? Mm -mm. I never find a butterfly flying around my house. Yeah. So the Queen Alexandra butterfly is the world's largest butterfly and it's found in Papua New Guinea. Also the orangutan which is found in Sumatra Borneo. So how are the tropical rainforests affected by global warming? They are becoming more and more warm and dry and there is no place to live. So the Sumatran orangutans are now endangered because the jungles are lost. Also, the Amazon forest has become uh, nearly half from what it was earlier. So, we've come to our last environment, which is the poles. So, the poles are the icy deserts. So, we've got the Arctic on the North Pole and Antarctic on the South Pole. So, Prisha, what do you think? When it is so frozen and full of ice, how do uh, animals live there? So they have layers of fur and feather and there is one more uh, thing which is called as blubber. So that what's, is a thick layer of fat. What's blubber? Blubber is a thick layer of fat. So fat is a bad conductor of heat. It does not let the heat escape from your body and that is why it helps in keeping them warm. So at the, Arc at the North Pole we've got the Arctic desert which is home to polar bears the white bears so the polar bears have got fur and blubber which helps them to maintain heat and they also hibernate in extreme temperatures so the arctic desert which is in the south pole is home to emperor penguins the cute ones well, um, ones that are that tiny yeah i mean not that tiny a little more taller than that they've got feathers and blubber and as you said they are the ones who huddle up to maintain heat and then we've got the seals these are present at both the poles and they have got both fur and blubber which 
plus they also hold their flippers against their body like this so that they can maintain so how are the poles in danger pressure well the ice bags will start to melt and then and then um, all of the water will go into the ocean and the ocean can't hold it so it will come over here and there will be a flood yes so as you said the global warming is causing the ice to melt so because the ice is melting there is loss of habitat which means habitat means houses that yes. are getting destroyed yes so there is no place for the polar bears and the emperor penguins and the seals to live plus what is happening is all this ice which is melted and become water will go and it will go and fill the oceans and even more and it will eat up all the land and we will drown Yes, it will. There's lots of land and coasts. So, coasts are like in the near the ocean. Yes, all the coastal cities will start drowning. So, do you think we can help this situation, Prisha? How? Um, so, like, um, for an example, if I had no plastic bag. And then um, I wanted to throw it into the sea. I couldn't do that. And I wanted to um, like um, make a craft so I could use it to make something. Yes. So we should use recycling options wherever we can. So that will reduce the pollution and it will help in slowing down the global warming. Plus we can, what, what else can we do? Um, what we can also do um, is we can um, tell everyone to stop doing it. Okay, so that is talking. What else can we do? Then we need to save water. We should not use water unless we need. So we don't keep taps running. Because water is essential for life. It, we need it to um, survive and we need it for cooking. Yes. And we need to use less electricity. Because that will also help in reducing pollution. Plus, we should walk or use a bicycle wherever we can because... But why can't we like put our foot on the ground? We can. That is walking. Yeah, but why do we need a bicycle? If it's a long distance, can you walk? If, mm. I'm, if I tell you to walk from here to uh, town center, will you be able to walk? No. So you need a bicycle there mm. or a car. I'm not giving him a car. I don't want to Yeah. So if you go in a car, there's exhaust from the car which causes pollution, which again causes global warming. And as you said before, talk. So we can talk, we can spread the word, we can spread the awareness and we can show it by example. Oh, oh thank you, Uprisha, for reminding me I will switch the tap off right away. Share and subscribe so that then we can make funds for charity.